Rearranging equations. In physics, we often use equations to help us solve problems. Being able to rearrange equations quickly is very useful in physics as it allows us to find unknown quantities. There are two main rules to remember. Firstly, if you do something to the left hand side of an equation, you must also do it to the right hand side. Secondly, something divided by itself always equals 1. x divided by x equals 1. Here's our first example. In chapter 8, we'll look at the laws of motion, the way that things move. Newton's second law tells us that force equals mass times acceleration, F equals ma. Say we wanted to find out a, that's the acceleration, see in the top right hand corner. We need to make a the subject. So, we divide both sides of the equation by m. Notice now on the right hand side we have m divided by m. Remember that whenever you divide something by itself it will give 1, or in other words, it will cancel out. We're left with f divided by m equals a. It would be more conventional to swap this around to write a, that's what we want to find out, is f divided by m. This equation could be used to calculate the acceleration of any object as long as we knew the force and we knew the mass of the object. Our second example is found in chapter 6 which is all to do with waves. The speed of a wave or the velocity is its frequency times its wavelength. That's the lambda symbol there. Say we wanted to find out the frequency of a wave. First thing to do is Divide both sides by lambda. Notice that on the right hand side we have lambda divided by lambda. And remember that anything divided by itself equals 1, so we can cancel this out. We're left with v divided by lambda equals f. F is the thing we want to find out, so it would be more conventional to write F equals V divided by lambda. Here's another example. Speed equals distance divided by time. Let's say we wanted to find out the time. This could be the time for a car journey. The first thing to do is to multiply both sides of the equation by t. Notice that on the right hand side we've got t divided by t. Anything divided by itself equals 1, so we can cancel this out. Now what have we got? We've got s times t equals d. We want to make t the subject, so we need to divide both sides of this equation by s. Notice now on the left hand side we've got s divided by s, and these will cancel out. This leaves us with an equation for the journey time, t, equals d divided by s. This equation is very useful in all sorts of areas of physics. Journey time is distance divided by speed. Our next example is slightly more complicated. This is from chapter 4. Resistivity equals resistance times area divided by length. Let's say that we wanted to find out the area, A. The first thing to do is to multiply both sides of this equation by L. Notice that on the right-hand side, we've got L divided.
divided by L. These will cancel out. So now we've got rho times L equals R times A. We want to find out A, so we need to divide both sides by R. You'll see on the right hand side we've got R divided by R. These will cancel out. Leaving us with an equation for A. Rho L divided by R equals A. And it would be more conventional to swap the sides round and put A equals Rho L divided by R. Our final example comes from Einstein's most famous equation. E for energy equals mc squared. The c in this equation stands for the speed of light. Say we wanted to find c, make c the subject. The first thing to do is to divide both sides of this equation by m. You know the routine. On the right hand side we've got m divided by m. This will cancel out. Leaving us with e divided by m equals c squared. Now we don't want c squared, we want c. So in order to get c by itself we need to take a square root on both sides. Notice that we've square rooted everything on the left hand side. So the square root of e divided by m equals the square root of c squared is just c. And so our final result c equals square root of e divided by m. So this equation would allow you to calculate the speed of light. Here are some practice questions to have a go at. Pause the video and then when you've finished, unpause the video and the answers will appear on the right hand side of the screen. Here are some more to have a go at.